this video is already so long oh my gosh I need to stop talking um no I need to keep talking I'm doing a YouTube video this is my oh my gosh what am I doing with my life but if you close your eyes Hey guys, it's Brooke. Sorry the lighting's bad. It is about to storm, so it's like super dark outside even though it's only 6.30. So today I'm going to be talking about my most embarrassing cheer stories. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's also requested last week. I feel like I embarrass myself a lot, but I also don't get embarrassed easily, so I don't really know if these will be funny or not. You guys might not think these are funny at all, so <laughs> sorry. Okay. I'm gonna start with one that it really was like my most embarrassing at the time. I think it's funny now. I've told so many people this story. I cheered champion cheer and like my fourth, third or fourth week that I was there, this was like three years ago, um, I was tumbling on tumble track. Our tumble track, it has three yellow lines on one end and three yellow lines on the other end. They're just like fabric lines so you can like line up your tumbling or whatever. And one of them was like about to break and instead of doing my layout, I was doing my layout from the tumble track into like the pit, which was just a big squishy mat. And I didn't space it out right enough, so I landed right on that like yellow line, which is kind of like in the crack in between the mat and the tumble track. And it made the loudest noise ever. I flipped over, hurt my foot, and broke the yellow strip. So I broke the tumble track. And it was so loud. Like, that happened to me now, I would laugh my head off, but I didn't really know anybody, so I was kind of just like, uh, ow, my foot hurts, like, I, don't, I didn't know how to react, I just kind of like sat there, and then one of my coaches was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, my foot just kind of hurts. <laughs> and like, that's it. Like, I literally just didn't know how to react because I was just still super shy and like not comfortable there yet because I hadn't been there for very long, so yeah, that was super awkward and embarrassing. Another thing that happened, the very first practice I ever had at Champion, my first or second stunt, my flyer, I don't even remember what we were doing, but my flyer fell back on me, right on my nose, and my nose started bleeding. So I had to like run to the bathroom, and one of my coaches was like, Brooke, are you okay? And I was like, I'm totally fine, I just didn't want to get blood everywhere. And then I heard like some people talking about like, oh, her nose is bleeding, first nose bleed of the season. And I was just like, I love my first practice, and like, just, you know, getting a nosebleed, super fun. That one's not as embarrassing, but it's just kind of funny that it was like the first day I was there. It was like, nosebleed. <laughs> Next story, I didn't think it was super funny, but a lot of my friends did. So basically, at Summit 2018, and we obviously walked out to the mat, and then we were like, five, six, seven, eight, clean, hit your pose. But it was like, hands on hips, look back. I teased my hair for competitions, and I don't know how, but as soon as I went like this, my hair just, Oh, you can't see it. I'm gonna put a video in because I'm horrible at playing this. That was summit day one. We hit zero. I had a few friends from other teams watching me and instead of being like, Brooke, y'all hit zero, good job. They were like, Brooke, did you see your hair at the beginning? And I was like, no, what are y'all talking about? I have no idea, what do you mean? And then they showed me the video and I was like, oh. <laughs> and it didn't go down for like a hot second too. On that same day, I had a safety pin that was holding my sports bra straps together and as soon as I like put my hands on my hips to do my opening pose, since my shoulder blades were pushed together, the bobby pin, bobby pin, the safety pin popped open and stabbed me in the back and I had to perform, luckily I didn't tumble, but I had to perform with my safety pin like that the entire routine. I literally ran off the mat and there was our alternate Kelton was there and I was like, Kelton, 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 get the safety pin out of my back and it was bleeding. Obviously it's a safety pin so I didn't like, it wasn't that big of a deal. But like I had so many motions, like I had like a pointing motion where like my, my shoulder blades were together so it just kept like stabbing further into my skin. That hurt and like the whole time I was like performing and I was like, we're at Summit, I was thinking there's a safety pin stabbing me in my back. So yeah, some of the one was interesting. I didn't even notice my hair. I did notice the safety pin. Oh my gosh, wait, I love this story. Last summer, I was cheering at Cheer Athletics. At our CA camp, we have Top Cat competitions. Top Cat standing tumbler, Top Cat running tumbler, Top Cat jumps. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna win any of those. But then they said that they were dividing it in junior, senior, and open. So I was only gonna be competing with people 18 and up. And I was like, okay, maybe I will do it. Our coaches were like, y'all should do Top Cat. It helps us get spirit points or whatever they're called. I don't really remember. Like, okay, why not? So I signed up for Top Cat jumps. Obviously, I did tumbling because. So they give a first place, a second place, and a third place. And there was four of us. 
So the thing that kind of killed me is my jumps are pretty good when they're not whipped jumps, except for I don't point my toes, which really kills me. Like my legs will be up here, but my feet are like, so that, that kills me. But um, there was four of us and I got fourth place and it was just like really bad because they were like, okay, third place goes to this person. And as soon as they said third place, I was like, well, my friends that were there who like knew I did, they were like, how many people, how many people tried out for Top Cat Jumper? And I was like, at four. <laughs> I was the only one, which I mean, there's only one person that didn't get like a little paper that didn't place and it was me. <laughs> so I was like, wow, I love representing my team so well by being the only person to not get represented, not get recognized, that's the word. I knew it started with an R. I'm gonna insert a few videos now of me trying to get my WOW award. If you don't, okay, I feel like I mentioned that a lot. At Spirit Celebration competitions, they give wow awards out which are like individual performance awards they only give a few out at each competition my second year of cheer we only went to spirit celebration competitions so i made it my mission to get a wow award and i never got one i tried so hard to get a wow award so i always joke about like oh i'm just trying to get my wow award blah blah um i think it's time to give up on that dream but i just think it's funny because all of that stems from the video that i will show now At one of my first gyms, our very first competition, we were not ready. We just, we just weren't ready. Our very first competition was actually our very first full out of the season because we had never done a full out before and it went very, very badly. We had, I wish I still had the video because like looking back, it's like kind of funny because we got so much better from there. We had two stunt falls in our first stunt, like five or six tumble busts or tumble touches. Um, our entire pyramid collapsed. I don't even know how many deductions this was. And then in our tumbling, we had one girl going across this way, and then we had our last pass. And the girl who was going across this way, doing a round of my handspring layout, she, I remember her complaining that her uniform top was too big, and she was wearing like those sticky boots. And they flew out of her uniform when she was tumbling, so they were just there on the mat. And then our last pass started laughing and missed her total tumbling pass. So that was just kind of embarrassing as like a team performance. We were against three teams and we got fourth, so like rightfully so, but that was that was just kind of an embarrassing competition. It's funny now because it's been four years, three years. How old am I? Okay, next just embarrassing element about myself is the fact that last year, whenever I was doing collegiate level stunts, I wore a concussion helmet and it's ugly. And everyone always laughed at me every time I put it on. I actually asked my doctor, it does help prevent concussions. Um, I haven't worn it this year because last year I wore it because we were doing like collegiate stunts and my flowers were a lot bigger. My helmet stays in my cheer bag just in case. Like when we were doing pyramid, I got super paranoid and I like am standing under one stunt while flipping over my flyer and I'm just afraid everyone's gonna fall on me so I was like, oh no, get my helmet. But like, it's, I was too embarrassed to like go ask my coach, can I put my concussion helmet on? <laughs> like it just, I don't know. It, I'm gonna go get it. This is my, <laughs> yeah, the strap goes right here. So yeah, this this is one of, this is my thumbnail. Next, okay, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm a good dancer because I'm not. I suck at dancing, but I've gotten a lot better because I've gotten a lot more confident and less shy in my performance. But like, my first year at Champion, I was on Fury and I was, I feel like on that team, I wasn't really, I was kind of, that team, I was especially shy. It was my first time at a big gym. Um, I didn't know anybody on the team, so that gym, or that team, it took me a really long time to like come out of my shell. And for some reason, I was in the front for dance. And that the first dance we had, we had it choreographed when we had 18, and then we went down to 15, so it just kind of, we ended up redoing our dance, and I was moved to the back, thank God. <laughs> but I did not know what I was doing. The emotions were awkward, I looked weird. I think I had, not exaggerating, six or seven different coaches pull me aside and be like, Brooke, you really gotta work on that dance, like, you gotta work on it. I was like, okay. Like, it was so bad. I literally just, like, couldn't dance. I'll try to find a video and insert it. Um, I don't know if you'll really be able to tell, but, like, it just, that was kind of embarrassing in itself. <laughs> And then like one of our, our own coaches like re-choreographed our dance and she kind of looked at me and I was like, do it, do 
do it, do it. She's like, Brooke, switch it, whoever, and like go to the back. And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, where I belong. Like I, certain dances, now like dancing, like if it's just like motions and I have to be tight, like I can do that. But whenever it's like having to like move my hips and stuff, I look so stiff and awkward. This is still true to this day, but like, thank you Whitney for moving to the back. Like I genuinely mean that, like I, <laughs> needed to be in the back for the sake of my team and my dignity and my pride and that was that was a blessing the last thing i'm going to mention because this i've been recording for 17 minutes oh, 17 minutes can't wait to edit this um I, I literally wrote down sucking at choreography <laughs> because every time we have choreography i'm so excited but i know i know i'm gonna get called out and I always am. Like someone, either a choreographer or a coach will be like, Brooke, you, you gonna catch up anytime soon? Because I learn so slow. And I had to like, whenever I get choreography, I have to go home and like work on it or else I will not remember it. Like I can't just be like, oh, okay, these are the motions. Okay, let me do it to like this speed. Like that is always, that's something I've kind of gotten used to. But I always get a little embarrassed when the choreographer is like, is this girl gonna like keep up? Like, like I'm sorry, I promise I'm doing my best. Um, last week or two weeks ago I guess now at choreography I got these like the people next to us like slam their door and that's what made it fall but whew, that got my heart rate up if you have any embarrassing cheer moments feel free to comment them um and then maybe I'll be able to think of more because I feel like I have so many more and I couldn't think of any more. Um, but I really hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!